everybody and welcome to Motor Sports Land. Uh, my name's Tom and uh, today I'm here to tell you all about our new 2021 MPG 2780 RE, which is a rear entertainment model. Um, I guess I'll start by telling you that this is probably my most favorite trailer that we sell here at our dealership. Um, I love the finished kind of product this presents as far as exterior and interior. Um, and it really does have a very progressive kind of, uh, you know, kind of newer feel to the inside. But uh, let's start with the outside so I can tell you a little bit what's going on out here. And we're going to start right here at the front door. Uh, as you may notice, uh, a lot of models these days are coming with solid steps. And MPG obviously has them too. Um, the, the exception that I'll make for the MPG model is it does have a wider door. So you're 30 inches wide here, which is the biggest in its class, okay? What's there means the steps are also wide, okay? So if you got a bad knee, you got a bad ankle, for whatever reason you have trouble getting in and out of the trailer, uh, the solid steps are gonna make it way easier for you, no doubt. Uh, because your steps aren't like bouncing around and you're not gonna kind of put yourself out there for, you know, maybe aggravate an injury that you already have. Um, Cool thing about having it all lit up, thank you Zach for doing that, is you can see that it's got the blue light underneath, so when it is dark out, you guys come back to the trailer and the sun just went down, you're gonna be able to see. So you got ground lighting, you're gonna be able to see the stairs when you go up. Um, this 30 inch door, it's pretty nice when you're carrying coolers and stuff and bigger items to get in and out. It also has a friction hinge, um, so um, that's why you're not gonna see a latch over here. You know, a lot of trailers have that little plastic latch over here or some type of catch. These don't require that because it's got a friction door. So the wind's not gonna blow that around and it is also a safety feature. You got one of the kids has their hand inside the door, you don't have to worry about it blowing shut and you know, hurt, injuring the child. Okay, uh, this is all fiberglass uh, exterior and a welded aluminum frame inside. Uh, let me show you that. <clears throat> this compartment's got a lot of stuff going on, guys. Um, and as far as compartments go, and I don't want to sound like a nerd right now, but this is going to be one of the nicest ones you see, without a doubt, okay? And there's also a new feature in it for this year, the dungeon storage, okay? But as you can see, when you look through, you can see the construction model in here. You got real plywood up top, you got all welded aluminum frame, okay? It's just as finished in here as it is throughout the coach. It's the same floor, it's got the same side walls. So plenty of space in here if you guys like using tubs uh, for your kitchen utensils and tubs for your outdoor stuff. You can put them all right in here, color coded, whatever you're into. And then um, this guy opens like so. There's a magnet up here to catch it, okay? And then you're just gonna grab right inside, pull it out, and that's as far as it comes right there. Um, this is cool for longer items, um, maybe stuff that could get wet. Um, and it's recessed under the floor. So it might be for cables or guns or whatever you're into, but it's nice and private and kind of buried away under there. Very, very cool design, really smart feature. First time I've ever seen that, guys. First time. Um, these are slam latch baggage doors like you'd find like a motorhome, okay? Just a nice quality product. You don't have to worry about the little things where you're twisting and turning and they break and it doesn't close flush, it doesn't look good. Uh, this kind of does all that. It also has the magnetic catch on it. So when you put it up, it stays up and it's not gonna wear out. Underneath here, you're gonna see, this is the button for your landing gear, okay? This has electric jacks on it. So when you get to the uh, place where you're gonna go camping for the weekend, and you're ready to put the feet down, like you see there, you're just gonna push one button until there gets a little resistance and then you're gonna let off, okay? And from there, you're gonna get it as level as you can. Really, really easy to use. Um, another thing I like to touch on is you'll see this little Asdell sticker there. Um, Asdell's a composite that's been developed to be used inside the side walls in place of wood, okay? And the long and short of it is, you, you may have never seen this but when the glue separates from that wall under duress or heat, right, or cold, extreme cold, it makes a little bubble on the outside and it's not sexy, okay? It looks terrible and it's way too expensive to fix. So when they introduce this product, it's impervious to any moisture or condensation. Um, 
and it pretty much makes it impossible for that to happen, okay? So if you've never had that happen before, Google it, and once you see a picture, you'll be like, oh yeah, I don't want that. So it's worth the extra few bucks to have the eyes done. Okay, let's come around to the front here, Zach. And uh, hey, here's a cool thing. The new 2021 MPG is all new graphics, guys. All new graphics packages. The interior colors and palettes are new too. And um, based on the reception that this model got last year, I can only see good vibes going forward. I mean, this thing has got it going on as far as how it looks. Um, front cap here is a painted cap, guys. It's got two obviously different colors. And then you got some stickers on there too. But the reason they go with the paint on the front cap, it says it doesn't fade. Okay, when these caps fade, nothing devalues your trailer more than that. So there's a lot of trailers out there that have infused colors, okay? It looks like this, but it's not the same. And the difference is the guy with the infused colors is gonna see some type of fading in the next three to four years. This one will not fade, and it's just like a car when you go to wash it, it looks beautiful when you're done. Um, it's fiberglass, okay? Great way to protect your investment. Uh, also has the LED here, looks really cool going down the road, okay? People can see you when you're coming. Um, if you're like me and you show up in the dark every time you go camping, you'll really appreciate this uh, power tongue jack here. Um, it's lit, it's power obviously on and off the back of your towing vehicle. Super handy, and this is something that I have to have, okay? Uh, propane carries two bottles. And as you may notice, some of you, um, these are gonna be small bottles. It doesn't mean you can't put the big ones on. It's whatever you're into, okay? Um, some people could go years without filling their propane bottles up. So you just gotta just think about, you know, what kind of camping do we do? Do I need the big bottles? The reasons they put the small ones on there, so you can exchange them. It's very easy to exchange. You go to Walmart, you give one, you take one. So uh, if you have the big ones, you gotta have those filled. So just, you know, to each his own. Okay. Now we're basically on the utility side of the uh, 2021 MPG, okay? And as you see here, this is solar on the side. So if you have interest in solar, the first thing I'll ask you is what do you want to do for you, okay? A lot of people just wanna make sure their batteries are topped off, okay? So that's what this is. It's a direct connection to your batteries in the front. And uh, if you plugged in a solar panel, you know the guy that opens up like a book, just kinda angle towards the sun, you're gonna be topping your batteries off in no time. Just a wonderful feature, it extends your camping trip, and, um, and uh, you're able to go places you probably don't, normally wouldn't go, okay? Um, very, very cool. Okay, so satellite and cable, and this is the black tank flush. As far as the two uh, satellite and cable goes, if the, if the park has it, so do you, okay? And also, the black tank flush underneath, you'll notice it has a caution to sign next to it, and uh, that's there for a reason. Okay, um, black tank flush is essentially is an orbital sprayer in the black tank. Okay, so when you fix your garden hose to it, you turn it on, it's gonna kind of, right, right around and agitate that real nicely. Okay, and then when you go inside to take a reading on your black tank level, it's gonna be accurate, okay? Uh, back in the day, you would take a garden hose and run it through your window and spray it in your toilet thinking that was gonna keep your black tank clean. Uh, the answer is no, it doesn't, okay? This does. So great product, and you will definitely utilize this, and it just makes for the whole experience to be nice and clean uh, and easy, okay? This is the back of your, uh, your hot water heater, six gallons on this guy, okay? And this is gonna be your 30 amp service right here, okay? Um, this is the back of your furnace. Here's a spray port right here. That's gonna be just cold water, and it comes with a coiled hose. Uh, this is cool if you want to spray off your kid's shoes or spray off a bike or whatever, okay? It's nice to have right there. And then you have your two water connections right next to each other. Pretty easy to mess this up. The top one, okay, is your fresh water fill, okay? And you're going to put all your fresh water in here for your trip. If you're going to a campground that has um, water provided at the site, this is where you're going to plug into the city water. It tells you right there. The only thing that I would tell you is, is make sure you have a... Um, a uh, regulator, water regulator, uh, so you can regulate the, the amount of pressure coming from the camp to your trailer, okay? Just be aware of that if you don't want to blow anything apart on the inside. Um, here's a nice little touch, guys. This little black thing right here, the only reason that's there is to keep this gasket pointed in the right direction. 
And this model's got two gaskets, okay, two rubber gaskets going into the slide. Um, and this makes sure that that gasket's going in the right direction so nothing looks weird or not angled uh, improperly, okay? Um, this model also has a fully sealed underbelly, okay? So for you extended season campers out there and say, hey, I'm gonna extend it off into the next, you know, October, November, maybe push it even further, right? This one's gonna be sealed underneath, so it's got a membrane under there. Essentially, it keeps everything tucked in. When you turn your heat on inside the trailer, there's also heat in that area where your tanks are under the floor. Just a great thing to have. Uh, it also pulls a little more aerodynamically, uh, keeps rodents out. I know that everybody loves that part of it. Um, so it's a win-win on that. And if anything that says it's polar or cold package, that's kind of what that's referring to, okay? All right, let's work our way out to the back. Okay, just a couple things I want to touch on back here. Um, it does come with a spare tire. It's the same spare tire that's already on the trailers. I mean, circumference wise, so you don't have to like take one for the team and slow it down on the way home. Could you have to replace the tire? Um, also, of course, has a rear bumper. This is cool because essentially it's, you get another place to attach things to. You could put a utility rack on here. You could put your coolers on it, your, you know, your generator, whatever you're gonna take with it. Uh, it does have the housing for the backup. Okay, that is not a backup camera. It just has the housing for it. So should you want to attach one, find one of those in the parts department, we'll be happy to put it on for you, okay? All right, and the last thing um, I'll say, just to touch on on the outside here, Zach, is the high gloss gel coat that's on MPG. Um, most trailers don't have it, okay? Let's just put that out there. And is it more expensive? Yes, it is, okay? And uh, the best way to describe it is, is without it, it's kind of a dull finish. It's hard to see right now, I know. Um, but this gives it that smooth, kind of like that boat feel, you know, and it's real easy to clean. So um, that kind of concludes our little uh, walk around here on the outside. Uh, I'm going to take you inside now and show you all the amazing new features the 2021 MPG 2780 RES. Okay, welcome to the inside of the new 2021 MPG. Uh, this is the 27 RE or 2780 RE, which is the rear entertainment. Rear entertainment, guys, always means the TV's on the rear wall. It doesn't always mean there's gonna be windows back there. In fact, most of them don't. Okay, so you have windows on both sides. You get the sound bar. And this new sound bar, I've never seen before. So, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how much one more wonderful it is than the last one, but it definitely looks better, okay? It looks really cool. Um, so, and then also has the fireplace. So on this back wall, we got a lot going on. There's plenty of storage, okay? And uh, these are all hidden hinge cabinets. Okay, plenty of places to put stuff uh, on the back wall here. Um, and also for viewing, right? Easy to see, the TV articulates based on where you're sitting. Okay, so on this side, okay, the living room, we have two recliners. Um, it's weird because recliners like this weren't even a thing a couple years ago. And now it's kind of become a thing. And um, from a comfort level, you know, you gotta look at it this way, guys. You're on vacation, right? You're not here to take one for the team. You're here to enjoy yourself and be comfortable. And um, they're listening, okay? It's got a little ripcord just inside here when you sit down. And it goes pretty far back, very comfortable. And uh, you gotta put yourself out there in the camping world, guys. It's the end of the day, you're tired, okay? You just ate. Time to relax, time to chill, right? And you want a trailer that when you go back to, it provides those feelings for you. You don't want to go back and go, oh, I'm going to sleep on this little tiny couch or sit on this little couch, it's uncomfortable. No, you don't, okay? Awesome furniture and new textures too this year. Um, the texture on these, it's kind of hard to describe, but the cool thing about it is, is you will not slide around on this furniture. And uh, a couple years ago, some of the trailers had like the pleather kind of feel to them and they just weren't comfortable. They're were a little too hard and you would slide around on them. And these are very, very soft and it's got a very nice texture. It's very easy to keep clean and uh, wipe up so you spill something. And I'd be fine like eating on this and wiping. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't be worried about this stuff. So super nice there. And then on the other side here, we have a sleeper sofa. And this is a three cushion sleeper sofa. So if you had a couple or one person that need to sleep out here, you can certainly do that with this. 
And the reason I'm sitting down, guys, is because I'm a pretty tall guy. I'm 6'3", okay? And a lot of times when I sit on these couches, they're so uncomfortable, it's a joke. And I know that if I ever came to your trailer and you had one of those couches, I'm not sitting down because it's just ridiculous how uncomfortable they are. But as you can see on this one, this is a three cushion, guys, and look where it hits me, okay? Uh, for tall people out there looking for a real furniture set, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for real furniture that you can relax on. And when a per big person sits on it, it's, it doesn't take up the whole couch. Um, love this, love that, and they're facing each other. So when you do have company, uh, the conversation's there. There's, it's just a great space, guys. It's a wonderful space to kind of um, spend some time. Okay, so killer there. You got three windows all the way around. And then we're gonna come into the kitchen. This kitchen is, man, we talk about something that's really grown up, um, this kitchen, right? Because the demand for counter space, that is just paramount. I mean, you don't realize until you're there, right? And then you, you bought your trailer and you have zero counter space, and then you get out there and you're like, hey, where are we gonna put our coffee pot at? I don't have to take it out and I have to put it away every time, or if I have to get my toaster out, I take it out, put it away every time. You can have things out here, guys. They can stay out here. You can have your coffee pot, you can have your flat top, you can have your griddle, your toaster. Um, plenty of room. Um, and then these are all one piece piece uh, countertop. And then you got a traditional oven, okay? And a three burner cooktop. Really, really good looking stuff, guy. I would use this in my home, totally. You also have the microwave, get the hood and the light and fan. And then the obscured glass into the cabinets above here, all hidden hinge cabinets. Really good looking stuff. But this is what they're putting in new residential builds right here. These are all hard woods, real wood, okay? So, kitchen's got a nice horseshoe shape to it. Um, so you got plenty of room to work in here. It's got a single base and undermounted stainless sink, just like you put in your brand new house if you got one, right? And then the hardware. Look how good this stuff looks. I mean, this is awesome. I mean, I would totally have this in my home. Uh, just really good looking and when you feel it, it feels sturdy and solid and looks nice. Uh, very modern, right? Very, very modern look on the, on the inside. Um, and then you got cabinets, of course, all around, <coughs> excuse me, down below. All roller bearings, okay? Here, the fridges are new this year um, because if you guys have had a trailer before or two, right? You'll know that the little buttons you got to push and you're like working with the door. Now you just... I mean, it's, it could not be any easier than that, guys. Finally, uh, someone figured out how to build an easy fridge, right? This is the one, okay? And there's also storage next to the fridge, which to me makes perfect sense, right? You got your fridge, you got some dry storage here, you're taking stuff out of the fridge and you're moving your dry storage into the fridge. It's just absolutely great design. All right. Oh, and this is cool too, because you can turn these off. Um, you know, I'm not a big overhead lighting guy, and if this is me in my trailer, I'd probably like this right now, I'm that guy. I like the lower lighting, so I love that you can turn these off and on individually. Um, the AC on this guy runs on a racetrack, okay, all throughout the trailer. So when you turn it on, it's going to disperse cool air evenly, okay, throughout. Um, so you're not going to have to, you know, sit over there and be like, oh, hot over here. We're, what's up with the air? Okay, it's going to work the same everywhere. Okay, so over here on this side, a couple things. Um, first thing, you got your thermostat, just like home, right? You're going to set the temperature that you desire on the inside, and the trailer's going to work for you to get there. Your control panel's right here. And this one has some really helpful information on it. Uh, your control panel, panel, the first thing, that not every trailer has is a battery disconnect. And why is that important? Well, you just finished your trip, okay? And you just parked your trailer out back. When you push that button, you're killing the power to the inside of the trailer that's from the battery. Okay, so if you left the light on or the radio or something, you don't have to worry about that. A power awning, and then you got your two power slide room buttons there. And then all your tank readings are here. Okay, and then the rest of your running materials, okay, like your auxiliary, your hot water heater, and so on. Fuse box down below that. Everything's easy to get to, okay, and very easy to use. Okay, bathroom-wise, 
Okay, um, this is gonna be one of the bigger showers that you see. It's not a corner shower, it's a nice big square tub. Okay, and uh, like I told you, I'm a tall guy. I'm 6'3". There's plenty of room in here. And I know that you tall guys are gonna be like, oh, it's not big enough. It is big enough. You're just taking a shower in here. You're not trying to live in here, okay? And it's easy to kind of bend your knees to wash your hair. If you're any bigger than that, I mean, this is about as big as they get in travel trailers, okay? And if you'll notice, you see the floor pan there? Not moving, okay? Nothing's like denting down because I'm too heavy or because I have shoes on, okay? It's very, very sturdy, and I wouldn't have any worries about that. <clears throat> okay, I don't know if you can see this on the other side here, Zach the medicine cabinet okay but even though this doesn't look like a whole lot going on in here okay there's actually a lot of really smart room in here because you got the medicine cabinet right you got mirrors you got places to plug in your stuff you got really nice hardware again with the faucet okay and then you got storage underneath Okay, you got towel storage, linen storage here and there, and then you got wardrobes or whatever you want to use it for. I mean, tons of storage in a bathroom, guys. I, mean, I don't know how long y'all are camping for, uh, but this is more than what you need. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome to the bedroom. And um, here's the thing I'm, uh, I'd, I'd like to preface the bedroom by saying is that, yeah, when you walk in here, it doesn't feel like the biggest place in the world. And the reason is, is because they're trying to give you the most comfortable experience when you're going to sleep. Okay, so yeah, we get it, okay? There's not a ton of room to walk around the sides of the bed. But there is enough. And it's enough to make your bed. It's enough to jump in and out of bed. But the thing that you're going to be more receptive to than probably anything is that you have a king bed. And if you have a king bed at home, why are you going to sleep on something different when you go on vacation? Um, it's something to consider, you know? There's no reason to have less when you go on vacation. So if you have a king bed at home, make sure you have a king bed when you're on vacation. What would be the point to wake up every day and go, oh, I wish I had a king bed? Because that's what you're gonna say. Okay, and then they're on in the sky. We got windows on both sides. There's one behind Zach there. And then we have wardrobes, hanging wardrobes, identical on both sides. And then overhead storage, okay? And then you see these little cubbies under there they did this year? Like, these are super cool. And you can barely see them. It's awesome. They got USB. There's places to plug in. There's a little light right here. I mean, that is so smart because I've always looked at this side of the bed as like a really unfinished area. And then the C, you know, that little extra love they put in there. I think people are really going to dig that. I mean, that is such a smart idea. Put your phone up there. Put a firearm up there. Put your wallet up there. All the stuff that you need to have close by could be right there. Okay? Uh, here's something cool, too. I've never even seen this. I mean, it almost looks like a something that could be in your uh, bathroom area. Kind of like a nice little table here, like a, I don't even know what you just call it, like a built-in little table with some storage. I mean, it looks really nice, got a mirror behind it. Uh, very, very cool design. And then um, the doors, it's a big slider, it's wider, okay? Uh, so you can get in and out real easy. And also if you wanted to move items in and out, it's real easy to do that when you have a big door opening. Okay, guys, well, that concludes uh, the video for the uh, MPG 2780RE. It's a 2021 model. And uh, I got to tell you, you know, if you have a family, two, three, or four, okay, this is a really, really great floor plan. Um, for two people, I mean, this is just, this is one of the greatest floor plans for two people that, are, that exists uh, because it's just so comfortable and so roomy. And then um, for children, you know, if you have two little ones still at the nest, or maybe one that's a little older that camps once in a while, then you got your extra sleeping right there. And then that but that bathroom kind of serves as a bit of a buffer between the galley and the bedroom. So I love stuff like that, and I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we look forward to seeing you here at the store. Let Motorsports Land guide you to the dreams of